Hey. Welcome to my kitchen. We got a helper today. This is DJ. This is the baby of our house. Say hi. Hi. He was a superior helper. He told us everything we should do a video about today, so I couldn't help but put him in the video. He's kind of cute anyway, right? Hello. So, I got three tips for you guys. This is our Q-tip edition. Today, my husband wanted fried catfish, and because he wants it, he gets it. Do I like frying food? No. I do not like frying food. I don't like it because I don't like the way it smells. I don't like it because it's not the healthiest thing on the planet. I just don't like it, so whatever, but we're not going to go on a rant. But I have three things for you. Number one, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to uh, peel a potato because that's one of our side. We're having like fried catfish. We're going to have garlicky smashed potatoes. We're going to have broccoli or green beans. Haven't decided. Um, it's game day, so we want to keep it, you know, kind of kind of gangsta. And I love guacamole, so we got to have fresh guacamole, right? So we're going to go, the quickest way to peel potatoes, because we you washed about five pounds of potatoes. You washed them by yourself, right? Yes. Every single one. They're over there. You got to look up there at them. Okay, cool. Yeah, five pounds of potatoes. He washed them all off. Um, we're going to show you the quickest way to peel them. Avocado, the quickest way to pop that seed out. And when you're frying food and you hate the way the house smells because of the fried food, how to fix it. Okay? Now, first thing I'm going to show you guys is the potato. This is our second pot of them. Um, with the potatoes, you're going to take a small knife. And husband wants to be a part, so say hi. He's sneaking fish. Like I said, the potato. Let's focus on the potato. <laughs> okay? I got a small knife. You're literally going to take this knife and go around the potato. You are not going to cut the potato in half. You're only going to go around enough so by the time you actually boil this thing, um, you literally just pull the, the, you can roll off the skin. It'll fall off super easy, no big deal. So I went around here, here you go. Are you getting that? Can you see the line? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So this is done. We did five pounds of these just like this already. Dump it in the boiling water. We'll let that boil for, you know, until they're soft and ready to go. When we pop them out, we'll peel the skin. Now, the second thing I told you guys I wanted to go over um, was avocados. I'm obsessed with avocados. I probably eat an avocado a day or more because it's like my mayo. I put it on everything. Um, in this case, um, literally all you do, take a knife. Once you cut this boy in half, you see I took it around. Pop that knife in there and the seed pops out. Crazy, right? It makes me so happy. I'm so glad I learned this. Um, and once you're done, I can pop that thing out, take it there. Um, and my last Q-tip for you guys is I already told you how much I hate frying fish. So this is the quickest way my mama taught me this. Freaking take some cinnamon. I hate to say that this might be the only reason I use this cinnamon unless I'm making like my donuts. Side note. Take some cinnamon, boil it in some water. It will make your entire house smell amazing and it over freaking powers the aroma of a fried piece of food. So those are my three Q-tips for today. Were those good? Yes. Kind of cool? I already told you, you got potatoes, avocados, and how to make your house smell good after making something that makes your house smell like fried food. It's here. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you. And until next time, may your taste buds be more.